former local Lake County Commissioner of 24 years, current coordinator of the Florida Coastal and Ocean Coalition. I've had the privilege of trying to protect the environment here in Southwest Florida with a tremendous grassroots support throughout the entire county. We really do uh, really feel that our precious natural resources require proper and responsible stewardship. What troubles me most is recognizing that this uh, disposal well is to inject into the Florida aquifer. We all recognize our springs in the uh, uh, Lajua County area are going dry. Um, we have a water shortage issue that needs a, a prioritization of our uh, legislative and, and national uh, policy makers. Uh, and here we are endangering the very water supply that we rely on and that we will need to tap into with regards to the lower floor in the future. Um, it also troubles me that with the class two uh, uh, permitting uh, for this particular disposal well, that there's no requirement uh, to have monitoring wells in various aquifers to make sure there's no degradation uh, and, and contamination uh, to, our, to our aquifers and to our water supplies. But clearly with the uh, fact that, that this well is uh, uh, positioned uh, upstream of the Picayune Strand, uh, where literally millions of dollars are being spent to restore the Picayune Strand, a joint effort of, uh, of uh, the state and the federal government. Uh, you're right adjacent to the Florida Panther National Wildlife Refuge. Uh, you have Algenol, a company in Lee County that already can produce 9,200 gallons of ethanol an acre. Um, you have alternative fuel supplies with, with wind, with solar, with biofuel. Um, the policymakers need to understand, as certainly does the federal government, that we have those alternative supplies so as to reduce the risk of fossil fuels, protect our water supplies, and we ask you to deny the permit.